the ideas the engineers come up with wind up here in the rapid prototyping machines. They can produce anything in no time. Prototypes made of resin are not as expensive as carbon. The prototypes are integrated into the model, and here they are. The heart and soul of aero development are wind tunnels. Good day, Marcus. It's still the most modern one in Formula One, and it costs 55 million dollars. Here we are in the working section of the wind tunnel with our model. It is 60% scale. In the wind tunnel we're able to do, if you like, a mini Grand Prix simulation in literally a few minutes. Inside the model we have about 500 physical sensors. That's a good toy. And I think it's the best toy on the planet. The tunnel can simulate wind speeds up to 300 kph. And it's all top secret. Especially during this phase. The new wings on the car? Sorry competition. You won't see that. All components are optimized in the wind tunnel before they go into production and become part of my new car. Is there anything you cannot do? Uh, we can't simulate really a true corner <laughs> uh, because... I did that on the track. And the really great drivers have always been able to have the raw speed and the ability to somehow be able to just think about what the car's doing even when they're flat out in a qualifying lap they'll come back and tell you exactly what the car's doing. More general grip, more stability in the entry of the corners so it's definitely a step up. The input of the driver is always very highly valued you can design a car which is as good as you like, as fast as you like, but if the driver cannot push the limit, you will not get that level of performance.